Welcome to episode six. Today we're going to take a couple of minutes and we're going to look at... So that's right, you guessed it, this episode is all about the eraser tool. Uh, funny enough, this one's actually got a few different variations to it. I think this one's a little bit longer than yesterday's episode, but not too much. We're still, I think, under the five minute mark, but we'll see kind of where we're at. So let's hop over to Illustrator and I'll show you how this works. I think I said episode six at the beginning of this again. You know what, I recorded this over the weekend and realized when I went to edit it that I said episode six. And I think I said it again, it's actually episode seven. Okay, let's hop into Illustrator and I'll show you how all this works. Okay, so here we are in Illustrator. I went ahead and placed quite a few different things on the artboard. We're gonna cover the eraser fairly quick. It's just got a few little things that you kind of need to know about it. So first let's access the eraser tool, which again, we can find over here in the toolbar. We can also click on Shift E on our keyboard and that'll give us the eraser tool. Now, like some other tools, we can use the square bracket to go up or down. So right square or left square bracket is gonna make the shape smaller. Right square bracket is gonna make it larger. We'll go right about there with ours. So I have a few different things. This is a stroked rectangle. This one's just a regular rectangle. And the reason I've got a few different ones on here is so I can show you what actually happens. So right now I have nothing selected on the artboard. Every, everything is unselected and I can erase through pretty much anything. Now if I were to select something, so I'm just gonna go V on the keyboard and I'm gonna select this rectangle, Shift E again to get back to my eraser. It's not going to erase anything other than what I have selected. So that's the first little quirk that you need to know. If you're erasing things and you have one thing selected, you can sit there and erase and erase and erase. So if I had this selected and say I was trying to work on this and I wanted to get, you know, really fine in here and I wanted to make sure that I had things erased and, and it all comes back. So normally what I'll do is either go up here and go deselect or shift command A to make sure that everything is unselected before I start erasing. Or on the flip side, make sure that I'm selecting the item that I want to erase or that I want to alter with the eraser before I start erasing. So let's say I want to erase a square. I can do squares by holding down shift option and that will actually let me come in here and I can erase just a square. If I want to erase a rectangle, I hold down just alt. That's going to allow me to stay within those confines and then I've got this shape. So you can see this can work for making some pretty unique shapes and then I can come in here and I can go V and just make my alterations however I need to adjust, right? If I wanted to align this a little bit better now that I've got some eraser parts done. Strokes are a little bit different as you saw when we erased part of this one. Get back to my eraser here. And if I hold down shift, I'm going to get a straight line. So I can actually come in here and erase that. And say I come over here, and erase this, and then I can erase this. And it's going to keep the stroke on individual shapes now. So it doesn't group them or anything after they're erased. It actually makes them into separate shapes. And you can see what happens here, how I slid over this. You can get some pretty neat patterns going on. If you really just play with this a little bit, if we were to let's erase these two, Oh, see, I got that selected, and Shift A, get rid of that. Let's go here, and go here, and let's take just the edge off of this one, and come in, say there. Oh, that one didn't quite go straight. Let's try that again. There. This could be kind of cool. I mean, you know, neat little pattern for you know, a, a paragraph, if you wanted to do some kind of a mock-up that needed to show that there was text, right? So it got to kind of work as a text placeholder. So you can see the eraser tool is not just for getting rid of things. You can also use it as kind of a design tool. Now down here, we have two other things. I've got some type and I've also got an image. So this actually isn't a vector. It's just one of my pieces that I pulled the JPEG in. And if we grab our eraser tool, now shift command A, make sure nothing's selected. So let's erase this type. Okay. The eraser tool won't erase type unless it's been outlined. So if I come here, right click and just go create outlines. Now shift command E, 
I'm just gonna get rid of that selection first. And if I erase that now, now it actually works. The other thing that it won't erase is images. So I can come in here, it still looks like it's going to, but there's no way to get rid of this image other than just deleting it off of your artwork. Just like some of the other tools that we've discussed, if I double click on this, I've got additional options that we can work with. We can actually change the angle of the eraser. So let's say we'll go to uh, say minus 60 degree angle. I can change the roundness, give us more of an oval shape. We'll go 60%. And I can also change the size here. So what that gives us is more of that sort of calligraphic you know, I never know how that word is pronounced. It's a slanted, sort of a calligraphy style eraser now. All right, so we can get some different effects with that as well. All right, designers, so that's it for the eraser tool. This was day seven of 30 illustrator tools in 30 days. We're nearing the one third mark. I'm hoping you guys are picking up quite a few tips out of these videos. If you are, please tag me in social media. If you're looking for my links, you can find them down in the description in the link tree. I gotta get back to work once again. Lots of stuff on the go. So I will see you in the next one. Now get out there and design something. This is like three and a half years ago. Still one of my favorite pieces that I've done. Show me your guys' stuff. What are you designing? Hit me up on social media. I would love to see it.